Let, let's start with Aiden because okay. he's an interesting one, and I know a lot, he he's a big name. You know, uh, he's been talked about as possibly the number one guy for months now. As, especially with the moves Jacksonville made, it kind of lined up. But, hey, we need an edge. Let's go get a guy. You know, and you hear a lot of this shit about him. And I don't. I'm not the type of person who does like, oh, he's a winner. Well, okay, I don't care. He's a defense lineman. It, right. If he was on the Jags last year, he'd be a loser. So it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But he's the kind of he's a worker. That's for sure. He's got, and it's it's kind of like a stereotype for linemen. These white guys have motors, and he got a motor on him. That doesn't mean all white guys have motors or all African American players don't have motors. But him specifically, motor. Yeah. And this is what I would say for him: one, he's freakishly athletic, a little bit of freakishly athletic. What I mean that is, he's very quick. He's quick, but he's not like I want to say he's super strong. I I don't know why. I think There's that's something a bad missing. Word, freakishly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't like saying it, but like he was 99 percentile on his three cone, which is a lot of people use that to measure. Shut up, Joey. Joey. Yeah, but I'm saying a lot of people measure that to like explosiveness. Right. For me, if there was a category who's like, who's the number one guy who could play some edge, some inside, it'd be him. He reminds me, and my player comparison, I'll say, I'll save it. I'll say, I'll save it for the end. Let me have you. Uh, 6'6, 260 has all the measurables to be a great uh, edge guy. N- Best pro ready guy, mm-hmm. nonstop motor, like you said, has a good first step, but is not his first step is good, but his next his stop step. and go is yeah. not elite. No, I, I, I you get I, what I'm I saying. There? He he times up this. I think it's what it is, is he's not necessarily quick. And maybe maybe he is. I don't know how to say it with him, dude. It's just weird because he's really good at timing up the snap. Yeah. But when I see his first step, it's slower than Kayvon Thibodeau's, even though he tested out really good in the drill. Yeah. I just don't think he's got like speed. To, I mean, he ran a four seven and I get Joey, Nick Bosa ran it, but I wouldn't say Nick Bosa is this freakishly fast guy. He's the finesse moves that he does. It's savvy in a way. Like he's a technician as far as like ripping guys. Like he's, like the comparison I have, it was the only guy I can I, – I was trying my hardest, my absolute hardest to not put this guy as a comparison. Max Crosby, but he has all of Max Crosby's moves. I said he uses. I said if you take in the body to account – I know we're kind of doing the player comparison a little earlier. I want his poor man's Bosa. Though he's big, he can go inside, and this is what I, this is what I don't like about him. He doesn't provide bend. At edge because he's big, he's really freaking big. And one sometimes he, when he rushes one, I don't know if you saw this, he doesn't make a move. He's just like, I'm just gonna bowl you over, but I can't right now. So I'm not. I'm just like, it's like I he just did it, and it's not like he never changed it up. It was just like I'm just gonna lose this play, and I didn't like that about him. And I get I'm being very picky, yeah. and then the Georgia game made me dislike him a little more because right. I was like, it's your NFL caliber guys you're playing, dude, yeah. and you're getting you were nowhere. Yeah. Th- these are my last thoughts about him. This is this is what I put. Some of the stuff you see from Clowney, the Max, the Vaughns, even like Kayvon in this draft, he's just not simply not that guy. And where they're mocking him at number one, number two, a guy like him doesn't go there. He's a great piece to put next to a Miles Garrett, a Vaughn in his head at heyday, a guy that's already elite on the other side and he's a great compliment you don't see him being a bosa he's not an alpha he's not an alpha i don't see him that way i'm a little surprised to hear you say that but i I agree with you like to me some of the sacks he got like i know he beats these guys but it's like you're not beating great dudes and secondly it was just i didn't see like freakishly crap from it maybe it's maybe it's i'm wrong that i look for freakishly in these edge guys but to me like i said and I know I sound like I'm hating on him, but he's my third guy. He's worth a top 10 pick in my brain. Not It's 5 through 10 or anywhere else. I don't think he's a top I agree three. with that. I don't think 10. he's a top three pick. And it's just because I don't see the freakishly athleticism from him. And I know I said it earlier. He's just like quick. I don't know, man. I just don't. He's, he's really he's really a hard eval for me. Because like I like the hand playing, but it's like, is he going to get that much better in the NFL? He's already like a weight room guy. Like He works out a lot. He's strong. But would you say he's freakishly strong? I'd say he's pretty strong. That's what I like the Bosa comparison because it's like as much as we both like Joey Bosa, is it safe to say he's underwhelmed a little bit in his career? From Slightly. For when he came out, for what he was supposed to be. 